show you the yarn I'm using. So the yarn I'm using is this gorgeous pink yarn. It's from Hobbycraft. It's a really soft, silky yarn. Um, and I think when I start knitting, it's gonna create this really nice pattern. This is the label. I got it from Hobbycraft. I'll see if there's a link that I can pop in the description. But it's Yarnspirations Karen Simply Soft Speckle Yarn. But yeah, so start casting on and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so I've got my machine here and I'm just going to cast on. So I'm just gonna get to the white pin and because we've got it on the panel setting, it stops there. So we're gonna go on the pin next to it. Make sure there's a lot of yarn left over. Hook that on and just go in and out on each hook. And then once you get to the white needle, you can just then pull it through the gap and then put it through your tension gauge. I like to do it on the tightest tension, so I'll put it through all three. And then once that's all casted on, you're gonna make sure that you hit that end point where it locks. So it's locked there and then you can go around and make sure that the yarn picks up on this hook and it has to be the same hook every time you come round. So then it creates a neat line. So it's gonna get picked up, hooked round and pulled under that by that hook. And you have to make sure you are watching your stitches because um, I found on the panel setting that they can be dropped more. Make sure that the hook has picked up your stitches. Once you get to the end, make sure it's locked and then go backwards. And you're going to make sure that this hook here picks up the yarn. And then you can go back round and you just repeat that. I think I'm gonna do a hundred rows. It just got a bit stuck here, so make sure that if you're struggling to go round, check that your yarn isn't stuck on the needle, in which case you might just have to push it down. And it's locked, so we just go back round. That hook's picking up the yarn fine, so you can keep going. are forming really nicely we've got really nice neat lines so yeah just make sure once you get to the end of the panel that the needle is picking up your yarn properly because um, it can get a bit stuck if it gets stuck I'll show you how you can fix it um, but yeah I'm just gonna keep going around so. so I'm not sure if you can see this very well but this needle has um, sort of picked up the yarn wrong. I'm not really sure what's happened, but sometimes this can happen where you've got two stitches on the same hook. And if you keep going, it will sort of cause the end of the panel to just become a bit wobbly. So in order to fix that, I make sure that this stitch has properly come off the needle and this stitch is below it. So I'll push that darker one down and lift this lighter one up 
over the needle and then that just releases that and solves that issue. I've just completed my first panel and it's turned out really nice. It's super soft and silky, um, so I think it's going to look really good. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just working on the second panel. So it's exactly the same thing, and I did a hundred rows. So yeah, working on that. I completed two panels the front and the back of the top. So now I'm going to be making the sleeves and I'm going to be doing essentially the same thing, so the same, using the same amount of needles on the machine. Instead of doing 100 rows, I think I'll do about 120-ish, but I'll see. Um, so yeah, the same thing, just a bit longer. New location. I've finished my four panels, so we've got the front and the back, 100 rows each, and the sleeves, which are 120. So now I'm just going to lay them out, um, how I'm going to sew them together, and I'll come back to you and show you how that looks. So this might look a bit odd for now, um, and it's not helping that the sides are rolling in, but basically this is how you're going to sew your parts together. This is the front and the back of the top, so you're going to sew along here, inside out, so this is the inside, so along here to about here-ish, and the same on the other side, and that's your neck hole. Um, and then when you turn it inside out, it will be like seamless. So you'll sew it sort of like that in there. And once you flap it over, you won't see the seam. Um, so I'll do that first and then I'll show you how to attach the sleeves. So I've just got my panels right sides facing in. And I'm just gonna Sew along the top for the shoulders about a few inches in and the same on the other side. So let's do that. just sewed the shoulders together and this would actually be a really cute like vest top but I'm gonna keep going and add some sleeves but yeah so now we're same thing again inside out it's inside out now and I'm gonna sew along the sides up to where my underarm starts and um, yeah so sew those up both sides I've just 
finish sewing the sides together. And this actually looks really cute as it is. Um, but I think it will look really good with the sleeves. Time to attach the sleeve. What you're gonna do is have the sleeve folded in half, like how it's gonna look when it's done. And if you lay it and attach it together um, with right sides facing out, and then you're gonna fold that like this. So right sides are facing each other. And then you can join in the circle, just how like you joined the sides just so the sleeve and the body together. I've just attached the sleeve to the body, um, but the sleeve's still open, so I'm just gonna go along here, the same as the other joins, and just join along the arm. Here's the final result of the top. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, so I've just weaved in all my ends to neaten it up and did a row of single crochet along the bottom, the neck and the sleeves. And yeah, that's the final result. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have the links below just so you can see like more pictures, videos and inspo. Um, I'll see you next time.